I didn't bring enough for a three-way. All right, I mean a three-way ramp. I'm not, I'm not money bags over here. Come on, buddy. Do you want to come and chase after my creature? Yo, what's going on guys? Riot's here back with episode number seven of our Ark Survival Evolved modded hardcore survival series. That really is such a mouthful. And for a survival for a hardcore series, I've died like nine times at least so far. But as far as the entire series goes, some of the horrible things we've gone through, I feel like that's not actually that bad. Alright, so we're continuing off of last episode where we tamed the most epic creature ever. I did just gather a bunch of resources with our buddy Rashi back here, so we have like 450 Trank Darts. We should be ready to take down something big today, something that can actually help us like get farther in the series and eventually fight some bosses, eventually get enough resources together to actually tame a monster, and then work our way up to like Nergigante Basil Geese. One day taming freaking Behemoth and fighting Ark bosses with it sounds incredible, but we have to start smaller, damn it. We have to get us something bigger than Drax over here. Wait, I never named him. I'm <laughs> gonna go ahead and name this guy Drax because his name was already basically that and you can't even see him staring right at him. He's dead and visible. Just go along with it, alright? <laughs> I'm frick, I think we should get some serious stuff done though. I'm excited. I actually want to take this guy out for a bit and go kill some stuff and see what the monsters around us look like. Let me just go ahead and leave all my darts because that would be awfully terrifying if we died. And of course, there's a bunch of Godzilla stuff coming out right now video-wise, but all that stuff's going on my reaction channel for everyone who's interested in that. But it's getting crazy the closer we get to Godzilla vs. Kong. And of course, it ends on the 6th. I believe it's Friday the 6th. December 6th is when the when the Spinosaurus Tooth gives, give, uh, giveaway ends. I can't speak words. Words are so freaking hard. All right, we're gonna try and make it to another island right now without... It's, it's gonna be adventurous. I believe we can do it because we have a hell of a jump and we're not the slowest swimmer. But yes, on my Instagram, for those wondering, it, it does end on the 6th. And then don't worry, there will be other giveaways after that because I bought, like, I still have, like, another Moza tooth and then another kind of tooth I want to give away. I'm just gonna keep it going for a while. I bought so much... This was such a terrible freaking idea. Why'd, why'd you guys let me do this? We're good, we're fine. It just doesn't have much of a swimmy animation because we downloaded this like shady mod off Nexus, but it seems to be pretty stable. It just isn't able to swim. That's the way it goes though, man. You download mods off the internet in shady places because the workshop no longer supports trademark creatures, you're gonna end up with some weird results. That's just the way the world works. This island seems pretty damn peaceful. Fluke, we could have moved here and it would have been just basically as nice as we have it in the other neighborhood except we don't constantly live under fear of Val Hazak invasions 24-7, which is our current situation. We might be able to just take- no, I don't want to take this thing out taming. I need to be on a flyer. Because, um, there's nothing on this island. This would be the perfect home. Son of a bitch. If we ever need to expand, we know what we're doing. Crossing over to that landscape over there, though. That's a whole nother animal. I don't trust that at all, dude. There's- we're going over there with the flyer. I don't trust nothing. Make the jump, buddy. Of course, now he's gonna be Megalodon's back this way, the way we came. We should have named him Jesus. Crap. Can you guys comment down below if people would be offended if I named this guy Jesus? I mean, it's pretty a com common name. Sh shit! Jesus, walk on water a little faster, buddy. If we turned all this water into wine, these sharks would just suffocate and die. We're also not using stamina up on this creature. When we, um, when we run, Underwater? It's fantastic. That's a glitch I love right there. Turn around, eat your ass, bro. Can we, though? Can we win this confrontation? Cowards! Absolute cowards! Wow! All bark and no bite. I'm staying dedicated. We got this thing. We need to level up somehow. Okay, no. This is stupid. This is like all stupid, Johnny. You're out of your element. You can't even swim. They don't seem bothered with me at all, though. I've never seen Megalodons lose focus so fast. Well, everything seems pretty frickin' splendiferous on the home front. Wandering around base, peaceful island. Not a single Val Hazak in sight right now either. Life's going pretty damn good. I can't see this episode going horribly at all. All right, we've got- Oh man, I feel bad for Barry. I haven't touched Barry since we got Rashi over here. This poor, abused bastard just has- I guess what's up your health? I don't know. There's no purpose in you beside being adorable anymore. We're all stacked, right? We got all our stuff. I feel so freaking stupid. I'm leaving my darts, dude. I'm not taking 450 darts when we just go out there. Are you kidding me? My life savings? Hell no, dude. Once we have something caught in this little cage right here, I have ready. That's we'll come back for some darts. Fuck taking the 450 darts out. Madness. Okay, so the key here is we need something that we could just basically go around with and not have to constantly live in fear. 
Well, that's something bigger. But the thing is, like, even one thing, you can kill any one thing. What about when there's, like, eight of it and they all buddy up together and then you just get just totally overran and massacred? It's really hard to predetermine what the hell you're going to run into around here. You know what sucks is the main things you see running around here not getting flack from all other creatures. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of lag. Is, um, the freaking, what am I trying to say right now? The monsters. <laughs> the monster hunter monsters. But those dudes are all way more difficult to tame than we're able to do right now. Actually, we should get focused on that freaking element extractor. But we need something that can kill monsters in the first place, though. That's the whole thing. One of those turtles would be pretty damn sexy, but I think that might be overdoing it a little bit for our first run through. That, that's like one of the most beast creatures around here. Dude, creatures like the Auxalia are, are passive. What level are you, bud? You big monster? Level 100. See, that kind of thing would get overwhelmed, though. I mean, if we find something like that at a higher level, that... Because there's no reason it has to be something... I mean, that is actually a pretty gorgeous, crazy-looking monster. See, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Th these these gorgeous naked poops are all over the place. They're the most beautiful flyers. Look at these colors. I This, this exact red zebra, whatever the else is called. This is my cod gun collar, all that color, on so many games. This is how I keep ending up with low-level gorgeous flyers right here. What just died here? Oh, god damn mega fish. Yep, I know where we are. We're back in our home. I knew it. Didn't even have to double take. I The only place I've seen those monsters fish is here at our old house. Holy shit! Tech stegas, dude. I haven't seen these yet. See, I can't even, like, kill these creatures, and we desperately need their inside so much. Dude, another one? They're all over the freaking place. Another one! Oh, oh my god! There's so many of them! Wow, you know how much effort that could save me if I actually had a creature that could kill these damn things? Perhaps it's time we come unleash our buddy. Yeah, we definitely gotta do that. Absolutely. There's no reason to hide that beast away on his own little island. Elephantos Elephantsaurus? That's pretty much exactly what I imagine that thing would be called. What level are you, bud? 150. I have wanted one of these things for a while. Those big, thick butts and tusks up at the front. I don't know. This seems is awesome. Beneficial for everybody. The perverts and the people who like to fight. I just realized because I went away for like a week, I didn't even tell you guys what happened to our previous flyer. It did freaking die. It is very unfortunate. It died off camera. The one that I left in the ice in a previous episode. I just, it's because I've been gone for like four days. My mind just resets. Also, I should probably explain to you guys where all the corruption stuff is. I guess there was still somewhat an issue with it, so we were giving it a couple more days. It's fine, though, because there's, like, crazy adventures and quests and everything we're going to get into once that's re-added in the next episode. And it'll be nice if we could have a creature that could actually do some shit in it. They said just running for our lives constantly. I'm pretty sure Drax... I'm, I, I'm taking him out now. I'm, I'm really anxious to let him fight. What the hell is that thing? You know what's funny is I have like over 20 freaking creature mods installed on the server, but I don't want to leave this area. And I feel like that's a reasonable task. If we start going and taming in the freaking Arctic or the Redwoods or even the Redwoods right there, anything like that, this is going to turn this adventure into a whole freaking other thing. Might as well go take a peek though, but I just remember what happened last time. The, the freaking Redwoods are so dominated by monsters. Yeah, I'm not taming- I'm not taming a damn thing here till I am good and freaking ready. I mean, some of these things look cool, I'll admit, but it's just like, I don't know. Even, even as more creatures spawn, because we did a wild white before this video, so they're like spawning as I fly across and everything, it's just looking- Look at that freaking Raphinos right there! It is active with the AIDS, or it just gave something AIDS. I think that might be some other kind of freaking venereal disease these monsters give creatures. I don't even know anymore! See, this is where you don't freaking want to be. Do that thing that's fighting him, though. What is that? Let's fight Nergiganta. It's not even for our eyes. Or is it one of those big turtle things? It is, dude. There's like epic disc going on here. I can't even fathom. Luckily, Big Boy over here can carry a lot of crap. Definitely a lot more than our flyer. It's just the difference. Of course, if things get crappy, there's no way around or how to get, uh, to get out of stuff. So that part's going to be a lot more shady. But I mean, it's a pretty fast creature. And we have our wits about us, which is, of course, like, our greatest tool. Whoa! Shit! Shit! Oh, shit nuggets, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god! What are we doing about? Stop it. Stop it. Knock it off. This is ridiculous! How is this even a thing? That, 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 that's not how dinosaurs work, you idiot! 
Just stay up on our boat. We should be fine. We're taking a lot of damage right now. This is going terribly. Absolutely terribly. Son of a bitch. Hang on. Put this jabroni just kills us right now, dude. You're not worthy. Oh my god. 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 We didn't even make it five feet out of the shit! Dude, what is, what is that? What is that? I, 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 it's so stupid! I don't, God damn it! I hate when developers try and balance game functions, but they have no idea what the hell they're doing and you end up with dinosaurs that tail smack talk you unconscious and shit like that. That doesn't even make any goddamn sense! Oh my god, I'm so frustrated right now. It all worked out, we're fine. No, it didn't. Hang on. Hang on a second. Defend yourself, buddy! Defend yourself, Drax! You bitch! Swim, Drax! Swim for your life, bud! I'm going to pee blood after this. I'm going to pee all the blood after this! No fucking way! Did we just lose our buddy? Are you kidding me? I don't know what's out of fact. I don't know how to process this emotionally. Or in the words that are coming, he's gonna be dead by the time we get over there, dude. He's gonna be dead by the time we get over there, bro. Son of a bitch! <laughs> God damn it! I hate that kind of shit so much. It doesn't even make any damn sense. That that is the dumbest shit, dude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What? 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 What the hell, man? I don't even know how to frick. What? What the poop? Get over here, you idiot! I swear to God, if you stun us, there's some some magical nonsense. I swear to God, just get over here. Get away from all my stuff, you idiots! I can't believe we just lost lost the only productive thing we've done in like in like freaking five episodes. This thing isn't even following me. Come on, man. Come on, man, just stay on me for like five- The one time it won't bother me! I'll bet you anything if I park this creature here, it'll come over and just badly start being annoying, won't you, bud? Won't you, bud? Come on, what is this? What's happening here? What is this nonsense? Just get the hell over here, man! I can't believe that shit just happened, dude! I can't believe it! I- I- Santa Maria! Dude, I am shocked! Here we gotta get all this crap off of this guy, I gotta do like this freaking- this is our boat. No, that's that's about you. You. Now we gotta do this transport back and forth nonsense because I'm over encumbered because all the crap. This is just this is just the worst, the worst situation ever, dude. I was like freaking five feet off of the island. I didn't even get that far. Wasn't even a big scary monster that killed me. It was just some stupid ass nothing creature. Just just a big old load of nothing. Just repeatedly knocked unconscious by nonsense. I, 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 I just don't even know what to think about life anymore. To this point, you know, it's like, what the hell, man? I thought I was just, <laughs> what? Walk my ass back in my living room like a failure, make some new clothes and figure life out. Okay, so basically they can take away everything I love and everything I care about, but they can't take away our spirit, damn it. Our spirit cannot be freaking broken. And I did locate, like, more gastodons right there. I did locate a pretty big beast freaking snake right here. It's finding some bats, actually. There's actually a few spawning around here. Like, the we restarted the server right before this video started, and now finally things are, like, starting to spawn like animals again. I feel like this snake would be a noble member of our group. It's always good to have a giant serpent on your team. They handle so much business. He clearly either killed the bat or the bat flew away. Or wait, he's going back in for seconds? No, he's just killing every bat that lands near him. The dude is clearly a psycho and could be useful. It's hard to tell what the hell's gonna survive very long around here because everything is just seeming like potential friends until we tame a Nergagante or something. Look, there's another one of those things! Yeah, you know what? I'm just not ready to open my heart up again to another one. I just- I'm just not ready to open up my love muscles one more time. <laughs> the snake doesn't require love. He's a cold-hearted beast, you know? He just wants camaraderie, I'm assuming. Either way, we just need something, damn it. And something cool, because I don't want something lame that I can take over to the freaking area over there and kill all those tech stegos. Once we have enough element dust, we can start pumping element from the freaking ground, and that's when monster taming shall begin. And that's when we can finally get some goddamn respect around here. All right, now, I'm... 
pretty sure this could fit it. Although, I have never tried to fit this giant snake in my box before. Let's just all be mature down there with that sentence. I don't want to land near that guy. These things, I don't want to land near this other dude either. The one that we just had that died. I don't want to land near that. Damn it, dude. See, this is what I mean. We just freaking restarted the server not too long ago. I mean, wiped it, and now more and more hostile entities are starting to spawn the longer I'm here. We should just... God damn it, I forgot about this guy. I really hope this is going to hold it. I didn't play it on, um... I don't know. They're, they're weird shaped creatures, snakes. Dinosaurs, they make sense, you know? They're pretty much shaped like dinosaurs, but snakes are just shaped like pasta, which throws off my whole vibe like crazy. I'm assuming you can crawl over walls. I have no evidence towards that, but last time we tried to tame a giant snake in this world, or in our last survival series, a different kind of modded giant snake, it crawled over the wall with leisure. Oh, I'm so happy I didn't bring enough walls. I really thought I counted this out too. I was like, oh, hey, count it out for sure, enough walls. Freak it! Oh wait, no. I only took half. I still might. Very panicky right now. Everything I love is being taken from me. That snake's sort of coming down this way right now. Sort of freaky stuff, dude. I'm assuming it can't slither out. What if it just... Let's get another wall up just to protect us from this thing. I'm assuming it can't slither out. It, it better not, dude. I'm so pissed this thing slithers out of here. <laughs> I mean, if I open up one hole in the floor... And then I think I had some for extras, because no one's perfect. Good job, Johnny. My creature's gonna start starving. I keep giving him all my cooked meat. It eats like a freaking animal. All right, that creature is looking huge now that it's, I don't think it's even gonna fit in my box. Damn it. I hate doing this with that freaking snake over there. It's terrifying, and I don't like it. Should have it, though. Right? I didn't bring enough for a three-way. All right, I mean, a three-way ramp. I'm not... I'm not money bags over here. Come on, buddy. Do you want to come and chase after my creature? Ah! Holy shit! That was terrifying and very fast and does a lot of damage. My god. Dude really didn't give us a freaking second to think do anything. He made me do the, the, the scream. The scream, the, the bad scream. The one where like hurts my throat and freaking panics me. He made me do the bad panicky girl scream. Okay, that sucks. That's unfortunate. I think this dude is way too big for that containment. What was I thinking? Come on, fat boy. Just get in here. Come on. Come on. Damn it, dude. Damn it to hell. He slides right over. Oh, he's in. He's in. Ha-ha. Wow, we lost a lot of health in that. Oh, look how much food. I can't keep giving you all my damn food. I need some of this food. We have eating turned down like crazy on the server, but eventually I still need to have a freaking bite of food. All right, this creature clearly seems strong enough to get stuff done. Like two bites and we almost lost all our freaking health. This, this is only like a level freaking 150 creature though. So it's not that strong, but I don't know. It seems like a beast. Doesn't matter how strong anything is though, does it? They're just gonna get stunned and cut. Where the hell did I just chop down all these trees? I love how quick the berries regrow in our island because it gives me like infinite narco berry gathering, but I hate how quick the trees rego. All right. Now, I swear to God, if this thing's not tameable, no one can get mad at me down in the comment section, all right? There's literally no way for me to know this before going into this. I've never come across one of these things in Ark before. It's obviously not from Ark naturally. I just don't know. Every freaking time. It's like, yeah, it's not tameable, or yeah, or you have to put this special kibble up its balls, or yeah, all this crazy, you have to sing it this freaking song that its mother used to sing. So there's these crazy taming strategies, and then I just look like an asshole who just wasted like 300 darts on nothing. So now I'm just always mega suspicious. Alright. I don't see any hostile entities in the area. I like that. I still might get somewhat of a free dangle going though, just to freaking really protect myself here. Yeah, I'm gonna do this up here where it's nice and safe, because that thing is huge as hell. Oh, guys, he's going for my flyer, too. Perfect baiting right there. They just keep him going right... Oh, this is beautiful. Where are you going, bud? No way his torpor is already going down, right? We're lucky, but we're not that lucky. We're more lucky in the sense of, like, getting killed and mauled before leaving your base in a horrible, tragic fashion. We got mad amounts of that kind of luck going. 
You know what I love? A creature that can't break stone. My god, is a creature that can't break stone just a fantastic thing? Didn't used to be something I had to worry about. Now it is something that's on my mind every time I do this. Ever since like episode freaking three, where that stone cage just made everything go to hell. But this thing is trapped by stone. You, you love to see it. Okay, this is getting scary. I'm seeing some damage indication for sure down there. I don't really want to go in and take a closer look. I swear to God, if this thing just dies, though, it's some giant untamable beast. I'm going to be so pissed. It's looking pretty damaged from up here, though, man. That's some serious damage indications. That's some shady stuff. I should have brought a freaking magnified glass over here. I didn't think it would be an issue. It's a giant serpent. Half my darts are just not even existing either. There's some serious damage indication on that thing down there. That's not a good sign, man. What if it dies? What if it dies? We gotta be careful with this. This is a freaking rare species of giant asshole that's been tormenting me for like 15 minutes. I'm gonna go fly back to base and get a magnifying glass and just see if it's even tameable. Cause knowing me, we've just wasted like 15 minutes of my life, which is okay. It's more the 100 darts and the 15 minutes that gets me. All right, buddy, doctor's here. What's going on? You're gonna be a big old but but to me right now ain't you what's the diagnosis here it's taming pretty well and its health is actually actually everything's going pretty according to plan your damage indication was just scaring me this thing looks insanely scary when it's just chilling like that oh my god i think this is a freaking nightmare ah! oh i don't like that at all it circles around i'm gonna go back up here where it's safe as long as we know the creature's alive that's all we need freaking science I don't know, man. This snake is looking pretty beat to crap right now. That is one bloody... It's a, it's basically asleep. One more dart, actually, and it goes to sleep, right? This thing is crazy looking. Where is it asleep currently? It is currently unconscious, and I'm just being an idiot. But look at the, look at the face. Look at the face. Holy crap. That thing is nightmares. Okay, as far as acquiring prime meat goes, that's a whole... That's the other guy. I'm the knock -em unconscious guy, but since... He is not here. See, I'm pretty sure that thing drops prime meat, but again, he will freaking vaporize this in like two bites. I don't want to settle for second best, but I'm thinking we might just be second best kind of people for that for like at, at the moment, you know? Any prime meat we've gotten was just because we found a really fancy corpse laying on the ground. Maybe him? No, there's no way. Ooh, that sheep! Hang on a second. If, if this gun would just freaking work. Work. There we go. Finally put the bullet in. Leave the sheep alone. Leave it. Don't do it, Tortuga. Don't do it. The sheep is dead. Obviously, I went to grab the mutton with my own two hands. But he's eating it, isn't he? He's eating it. And the sheep is gone. I freaking hate everything. Those auxalias are only chill when you're freaking shooting. I don't even have any raw regular meat because this creature keeps eating it all. We're having difficult times in our empire, clearly. We're hitting a bit of a food shortage, it would appear. At least feed this guy off the dodos. Which he can barely even kill. Oh, perfect. He's stuck running in nothingness right now, too. This is our chance right here, baby. Doesn't seem to have any damage indication, though. I'm not sure why he's running. Probably just because we're out of, like, bounds or something. He's coming back. You're not fooling me. The freaking lengths we go to for some prime meats. Absolutely bonkers, man. There we go. Where'd you go, buddy? They always make the saddest sounds when they die. It really makes you feel like a piece of crap. Nevertheless, we got what we freaking came for. I really hope that snake's still asleep, but I don't see it being a problem. And the torpedoed bar wasn't really moving, and that, that baby was thick. I assume that thing is long asleep. What's going on, bud? Still knocked out? Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> Just kidding, you're not going anywhere. I can't access your... Okay, All right, this is like freaking Indoraptor stuff. But Good God, look at the girth of this thing. I feel like that should suffice, right? Yeah, that'll do it. No even need for the other meats. Yes. Look at this thing's face. That is the coolest giant snake I've ever seen in Ark. I'm not going to lie. There's some... The, the, the snakes just are goofy sometimes. But this one... This one is just right. Oh, it doesn't even require a saddle. Oh, damn it. Couldn't have slid it out through the bottom. We would have been safe there. I'm just going to leave these little half-made houses all over the like, map. Because you never know when you're going to need them. 
Holy shit! Look at the size of this thing! How about you go ahead and follow us, bud? Try not to get in the way of nothing. Let's just go ahead and slither our way around town. This cave looks lovely. Perfect for snake slithering. This actually would be a really nice freaking base location. Why don't we ever think sensibly about stuff? See, it seems decently strong. At least that's base level, because all the creatures around here are pretty much vanilla stats. They're based off that. But of course, everything seems strong until they get freaking... Like that. Like, I was wet in the freaking water a second ago. I really almost did. I thought we could slither in right there. Look at what I would have ran into. Just chilling and waiting. Jesus Christ. Here we go. Every giant snake's favorite diets. Large birds from the area. Where the hell is the damage indicator of this thing? Oh, there we go. Duh. This bite seems to do something else. Stuff. Oh, shit! No. Come on, you gotta kill it. You gotta kill it. You gotta kill it. Can't lose this fight. Can't lose this fight. Feel free to help it too at any time. He's, he's not helping. He's not doing nothing. We're gonna win. It's all good. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's totally good. It's all good. Mickey was killed, however. That is fantastic news. That's what I like to see, Mickey. That's what I like to see, but hanging around just in the vicinity enough to die. Jesus, that was probably on me. Realistically, that was damn stupid what I just did right there. I didn't even really think about Mickey being in the line of fire. We did just get a lot of levels off old Mickey right there. Not Mickey, necessarily. It was the other thing. But nevertheless, so nice. You tame one creature, the other ones are dead instantly. At least this thing is able to defeat an Andrew Sukis with only losing half health. Those things are actually incredibly freaking strong. They're passive tame, so they don't mess with you. Look, that one over there destroyed that creature. They're very strong. So the fact that this thing can kill one of those is, um, is good news. Obviously, it needs to be a lot stronger. There's so many of these freaking creatures that just attack you in the water. All right, here it is. The most intense part of the episode. The freaking pilgrimage home. You think we could make it, buddy? You're the coolest freaking giant snake I've seen in a while. I need this thing back at my base. But stamina is just about up. It's freaking a little bit uncovered. Bit of a, oh, I'm uncovered. The snake is fine. Just freaking... I think we can make it. We're a serpent, right? We should be fast in the water. Oh, I have little to no faith in this at all. Oh, no! We're just this giant, delicious snack crawling across the water. Oh, God. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. What am I even worried about? It's like we've lost two of our most useful creatures in this episode so far to nonsense. It's not like that's happened. I have nothing to even fear, dude. You know what? If we can get this giant serpent back to base, then I'll have faith for this series yet. And I'm also just gonna go tame a flyer for those stegos. Tech stegos are not hard to kill. We don't need to get some super strong beast to get them to the other side of the map. Even a very strong, like, Tyrannodon alone would freaking be able to kill those things. That's the strat there, because we just need to gather them for element dust. Once we have element dust, we have the carrots, we have everything we need necessarily to start finally taming monsters. The reason for this giant snake is just because it's awesome and we deserve it, damn it. We've worked hard. Look at the size of this beast. Where's it gonna fit? Unbelievable! That's a thick boy we've got there. See, we needed a giant serpent. You can tell the gate doesn't even suffice, giant serpents. That's how you know we needed a giant serpent right there. I still miss this dodo when times were simpler. Times were so simple back in those days. Big corruption was the main thing we had to worry about. Now we have so many things. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking mistyping. We still have to re-add the freaking... Oh no, I need to grab some stone. What's going on, crazy beast? We could use a giant hound for around our base. You are passive. I don't know why we haven't done it yet. These things are incredibly strong and a good beast to get started. How about we just have this giant werewolf creature kind of watching out and patrolling our area too? That seems like a pretty freaking good idea. Then we don't run into any more nonsense around. I mean, this thing could have generally saved Drax if you think about it. It's kind of disappointing. Should have done it earlier. I wasn't thinking about it. Nevertheless, I just got used to like seeing them around so commonly and look at them as that rare of creatures. But I'm happy with this. We're now 10 times more secure with a giant snake and a freaking Angisuchus. If this thing proves to be epic, I don't know. I need to see how epic it's going to be before I decide what kind of name to give it, you know? It is a big black dog, just like my- Oh my god, I freaking love this thing! Why haven't we done this yet? That's why this series has been so hard. We didn't have a giant snake and a giant dog watching our back. It's so obvious now. 
It's like you hardly even notice it. No, we're definitely gonna have to freaking expand this for sure. This is just to make sure my creatures are all in the same home together for now. Oh, I actually love our Why haven't we done this earlier? You guys down below, I know some of you guys may have may have like pushed this point, but I don't think we really enforced it nearly enough. And for that, we just straight up suffered without a giant hat. This thing is awesome looking, dude. I love this creature. I, I, I feel really bad for our giant snake right now for getting overshadowed by I just I just love dogs is the thing Enough to even back this creature up and not even just park face forward I don't even know what to name the giant snake. I'll do the same thing though. I'll backwards slither in But what do you even name a giant snake? Besides something genital related and hilarious. Look at that. Look at that. That's a new series right there. We may have gotten beat down and lost some amazing stuff, but we gained some new creatures, which will be very helpful in our quest for obtaining freaking Monster Hunter Beasts, which is, of course, the ultimate goal here. I locked myself out every goddamn episode. Yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace!